I'm going to show you how to get started with the images assignment. We're going to create our basic document, and that Emmet shortcut was cut was exclamation point tab. And this will be images. And so we're going to use divs. Divs are logical segments to a web page that you can style. And you can style them all at once. I want you to have, let's say, seven divs. So I'm going to do div star seven. That's going to, when I hit tab, give me seven divs. Now I can style these all at the same time from the top of the page. So I'm going to do style, hit tab, hit enter, and I'm going to want to style the it, divs, and I'm going to style the body. So I'm going to do body, background, um, I'm going to do a background color. And this is going to change later because later I will put an image over it. But for right now, I just want to show you something with this. So we're going to call it, uh, we're going to do it with purple. Or actually, I like plum. It's going to go away soon anyway. Um, and then we're going to do a font family. And here we can just pick from one of these sets. And what will happen if I pick like this set, um, if your computer if the computer of the user has Arial on it, it will be used. If that's not there, it'll look for Helvetica, it being the browser. And if not, that's not there, sans serif will be used. So it looks for those in order. Every computer or device should have at least a sans serif font. And we're not going to worry about the color there because we're going to style the divs. <clears throat> so for the divs, I want each of these to have a minimum height of 150 pixels. And I want them each to be a width, and this will be flexible, of 80%. And it's flexible because it changes if you resize the screen. And then I want each one to have a border of 3 pixels, solid, and gold. And then I want to center them. So I'm going to use the margin. What the margin does is it sets the space between this element and the elements around it. So when I start, this is going to be top and bottom. That's 10 pixels. And then if I use auto, it will center it from left to right. And then I can put a color in here. And this will make more sense later. But I'm going to do color RGB, red, green, blue, alpha. And I'm going to put it in 0, 0, 0, this is black, and 0.7, 7, 70% opaque. Now, you want to just sort of manually check through these for any errors. Errors would show up here. Um, that looks good. And this puts us in a good place to test this. So I have this saved out on my, uh, which is my Facebook image demo got this got this saved in my web 105 folder so I'm going to go into the images and open index.html and you can see I have these divs here and if I wanted to I could t play with some of the style here by doing the inspect and then I can click on different parts. So this div, um, I've got the color, and I didn't mean to do that. I meant to do a background color. So I can change that. And then I would also like that color to be my font color the ivory. And you won't really see anything appear here because there's no text yet. And then I can actually take this code and I can copy it. And you can see it says applying while I work with it. And I can drop out here
let's just grab the inside and I can replace it. And notice when I save, it automatically straightens my alignments. That's one of the, a useful setting in um, Visual Studio Code. You have in the preferences, in your settings, you had I use auto closing breakfast, auto indent, and I like this to be set up. And these are your various actions that you can use. So we want to do format on paste and format on save. And this will automatically fix your formatting so it's all neatly formatted. So you want to make sure to have this turned on and that will help your code be cleaner and that makes it easier to debug. So when I saved it, it fixed that. So here I have an error and you can tell you have an error here at the bottom. So it's telling me that this is an error because I have one more, I've got a closing curly bracket where I don't have an opening one. So you want to watch out for those errors. They really help you with your formatting. So those are some things to get you started using divs and to make things a little bit easier to use.